is up you guys it is jessica doing things differently and today i have for you guys a shein video now i do realize i just did a shein video but hey you know it's yeah, yeah whatever so i want to give a super super special shout out to michael uh, he's a little boy who watches my channel with his grandmother, and I just thought that that was super special, super nice, and I just wanted to make sure that I gave him a shout out of the week. All right, you guys, so I gave you guys an idea of what we're doing. I gave you guys a shout out. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. Let's go. So first, I want to go ahead and start with uh, this. I got this stuff. Roar! I got this stuff right here, and it's like a clear film, but it has some... Um, I don't know. It, it just makes everything a little bit cloudier, I guess. I'm not really sure how to say it, but um, and I put it on my window in the front because I have this little, in my opinion, it's like a little annoying window. Like it shouldn't be there. I feel like it's very invasive. So if people were to come over and they knocked on my door and say I didn't want to answer the door, say I was, you know, Netflixing and chilling on the couch. I mean, what if I didn't want to answer the door? Well, they can just look in that little hole right there in the window hole and see me Netflixing and chilling. That's kind of embarrassing, right? Right? So now I don't Netflix and chill. So, you know, but let me go ahead and show you how I did it and how it looks. Let's go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys to the window where I did um, the, I put the uh, film up because again, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't so see-through. So I still have to do it on the other side as well. So it's still a little bit more see-through than I would like it to be, but we're getting there. All right, so let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. Look how pretty it is. Let me turn the lights off, Oop, lights off so that you can uh, kind of see what it looks like with the lights kind of glistening on it. Isn't that so pretty? But as pretty as it might be, the fact is, you can still see through it. It's like you can still see the house. I mean, I know you can't see like much. Let me see if I can kind of get you guys to see the, see the pumpkins right there and there. So you can definitely still see through it. It's, it's a little bit better at nighttime than it is um, during the day. During the day, you can pretty much see right yeah. through it. If I put on the second, um, the second layer on the opposite side, then I think it's going to make it a lot thicker and possibly make it to where you can't see through it at all. So super excited about that. All right, let's go ahead and see what else we got in the bag. Next we have these bad boys and these were, um, they're size five and a half UK, but they're 38, 39 in US. So you guys all see the, on the TikTok, on the TikTok, I sounded so old then. On the TikTok, on the Facebook, on the Instagram, <laughs> uh, they have those like puffy slides that are like super thick and they're supposed to be like super, super comfortable and like pillows for your feet. Well, here they are. And we're going to find out. Are they comfortable or are they not? Let's see. All right. So I have them on and they're pretty stiff. And I think that that's just because they're new and like obviously they're going to be a little bit stiff. But let me go ahead and pan you guys down so you can see them. Oh. All right, so here they are, and they actually fit, which is good, because a lot of times the shoes from here did not fit, so I can appreciate the fact that they at least fit, if nothing else. They're very, um, like I said, they're very stiff and, like, very hard, and they honestly feel like they're going to, like, flip off my feet, so, and, like, this aspect where it comes to, like, right here, how it should be, like, tighter around your foot, I can see why they made it loose, because, like, you want to make it to where everybody's feet are you know, comfortable and where they fit and whatnot. But for me, it just isn't tight enough and it just doesn't feel secure. But besides all that, course, winter is now here. We're, we're going into uh, almost November now in Ohio, which if you live in Ohio, you know, it is not slide weather. But uh, I got some cute slides for next year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see what's next. Next, we have this little guy and I'm going to be honest, I may or may not have already showed you guys this. This was kind of just like by itself somewhere because I always have to open the packages and see what I have because I put so many packages aside that I have no idea what's what. And I can't just look back because Shein and Romway are a little bit different with when they send things. You don't know 
like what is what they send you an alert when you get the package but if then you set that package aside and you get five other packages you have no idea what that one was so I may or may not have showed you this I don't remember it so you know what I mean I hope I did it but if I did my bad fast forward you know those lines all right so it doesn't look like I've opened this at all so that's a good thing but this is what it is right there so you just mount it on and then it holds your phone and hopefully it can turn sideways as well uh yeah it looks like it can do all those things the box is obviously a little tore up but that's okay so this is the base of it so this is what it looks like and this is the part that's going to hold the phone and what do you do no no okay so you just loosen this little thing up right here and then you're able to go zoop, 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 zoop. <laughs> All right, so uh, then you tighten it back up to wherever you're okay with it sitting, which we'll just go, uh, we'll go right here. Tighten it back up. So you take this little guy off, this little film, and it's pretty sticky, and then you take this part which holds your phone and you see this little part right there you put it mm, i think maybe you take this off and then put it on take this little guy off you put it on this and then i think you go like like that and then you take this little guy right here and you tighten it up like so so then it sits like this and then you can turn this like sideways which is the most thing that i want for my car is for this to turn sideways so if i did already show you that i'm sorry but i don't think that i did because i don't remember it i know i got a lot of car gadgets so that could be something else that i'm remembering but i think that's super cool all right well, let's see what's next all right next we have some lashes because girl you know how i got lashes all right so they're so cute they're very like feathery feeling not stiff which i love um but yeah, these are beautiful. Oh yes, girl, can you see? Can you picture it? <laughs> um, but these are, are the She Glam Girl Next Door eyelashes. So this is what the packaging looks like in case you wanna go get you some. Uh, but it's a set of three and I think that's extra cool. Um, they're probably a little bit more expensive than I like, but I really like those lashes a lot. So moving on. All right, so moving on, we have this little guy, and it is a eyebrow pencil, and it is called the Feather Better Liquid Eyebrow Pencil, and I got this in the color medium brown. So this is what it looks like. It kind of just looks like a marker, if I'm being honest, but then you open it up and look at that. Hopefully, it makes brush-like strokes on my uh, eyebrows, but we will check it here. <gasps> oh, look at that look at that just like an eyebrow oh and it doesn't come off yes i wiped pretty hard and it still didn't come off so i'm super excited about that and my brows so i'm i can't even i can't even tell you so i will use that and put up a video on tiktok just go ahead and follow me over there just get differently and we'll have a good old time there, you know, no shame. I don't post that often, but I will try to post a lot more. I definitely post when a new video has been uploaded on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. If you guys would like to send me anything, feel free to do so. My P.O. box will be right there. Um, I do not look at it unless you tell me you sent something. So you will have to message me on Facebook. You will have to message me on Instagram, or you will have to put a message in my TikTok because I do not check my um, I do not check my P.O. box unless you tell me you sent something. It's kind of out of the way, so and I don't get off in time, so it's not easy to go to the post office. So unless you tell me, I don't check it. The only thing I have going to me in P.O. box is if and when you guys send me something. So just please make sure to remember that. Um, if you want to send me anything, I'll I much appreciate it, but you do not have to. But hey, you know, it's up to you. I can't stop you. All right. Next is this little guy. This is a little uh, thigh purse. And I just thought this was the cutest freaking thing. Let me go ahead and put it on real quick. All right, so here it is. And it does have these two little straps so that you can strap it to a pair of socks. 
or stockings of some sort, but I honestly will probably be taking these guys off. I have no need for them and I'll never be striving into anything. Um, and it's just like a little purse. It doesn't fit much in it. Maybe some joint change, maybe a few, you know, some money or whatever, but I do have a lip gloss sitting here and there's no way that it will fit. That is quite a big lip gloss. So let's try the eyebrow pencil. Still not, I mean, sure it could hang out, but who wants that? You might as well just carry a purse, you know what I mean? So it's just for either looks or just for carrying small change of some sort. And then you have this, which is the, um, it's the adjuster. So I have it all the way loose, obviously, because I'm wearing it over sweatpants, but you can definitely change it. And then the best part, I think, is it has like rose gold or gold. I don't know which one it is because it kind of looks like both. And then silver. So if you're not a gold person, it does have silver. And if you're not a silver person, it does have gold or rose gold. So I think that that's amazing. But how cute would this look if you're obviously the pants aren't doing much, but um, you're walking down the street and oh, wait, let me get my change. There you go. I mean, this is just sexy, and obviously it's not sexy on my sweatpants, and when I try on the dresses that I have in there, I'll show you what it looks like there, but this is just cute, and again, these, why are they there, you know what I mean, I mean, maybe it's just me, but I see no purpose, I'm going to just cut those bad boys off, because they're just kind of in the way, I mean, maybe I can clip them on here, and that might work, so, I mean, it looks a little bit better, but still kind of looks like, what are those, <laughs> what are those, what are those? All right, so yeah, super cute, love it. Then we have this little guy, and this is something that I've been wanting for a really long time, and every time I saw it on Wish, I was like, oh, I like it, but then when I would put it in my basket, it was like a dollar, right? Then I'd put it in my basket, and I'd go to check out, and then it was like $5 shipping. So it turned into like a $6 belt, which I know is not expensive, but I just knew that this could be so much cheaper and I just waited and then I found it and then I was excited. So what you do is you put it around your waist like this. You put it through all your loops or whatever and then you stop here and you put it around your loop so there's no big bulge right here. So you know when you put on a shirt and it's a really cute shirt and then you know you put it over your pants and when you you can see that like bulge from your belt, <laughs> no more bulge. Hate that buckle bulge. <laughs> Don't like doing this every morning, every time you change, or go to the bathroom, say goodbye to that annoying buckle. Free belts. No more bulge. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. So you just put it like this. This opens up like this. So once you get it around like so, you put it through your loop and then do it like that and then the same way and bam. There's no big bulge right here where this is either. And you have a belt. And apparently it's supposed to be really good. All the reviews are really, really good on it. And I just think this is a neat idea. Whoever made this idea up is probably a millionaire, you know? So again, you wanna see what that belt looks like? Go over to my social media, probably TikTok, and I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like on, because I obviously have a pair of sweatpants, but you get the idea, you know? All right, so we have two more things, both of them being dresses. One is a little scandalous, you know what I'm saying? And one is a little bit more classy, dainty, flowy, cutesy. So, we're gonna put them behind my back and pick which one I choose. All right. Boom. All right, we're gonna go with this one first. So, this is in a size small. All right, so it's in like this maroon-ish kind of color. Definitely that um, polyester feeling where it's kind of silky, but it has no stretch to it. That's what it is. It has the cinched in um, arms, which I kind of like, but kind of don't. Uh, it also just depends on what I'm wearing. Uh, it has like this little bit of, I guess, you know what? It's better just to try it on. So let's go ahead and try her on. All right, and here we go. All right. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you in a bit uh, the entire dress. But this is what the sleeves look like. Um, they're very like flexible and stretchy, but that is the only stretch you're getting out of this dress, yes. So it does have like this little ruffly thing going towards the front and then there's like a little dip there. Um, it's not a very low cut, but it's, you know, just enough to kind of show you like, 
Hey girl, hey. Yeah. All right, so let me go ahead and back you guys up. All right, so here it is. This is the little roughly thing in the front. I also did put on this to show you guys how it would look on your leg. And whew, I'm out of breath. Whew. <laughs> All right, but isn't it cute? I also threw on some heels to kind of show you guys what it would look like with heels in the complete outfit. And I love this a lot. I can tell I would definitely like sweat in it because like it doesn't breathe. And trust me, when I got put this on, it was extremely hard to put on because right here is so tight that it didn't want to come on. So I did get a small and it fits wonderfully once I have it on, but it's going to be a to get off. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind. I would say to size up. I would say comfortably size up because I think that if I would get a medium, this would fit a lot more comfortably, but I do like the way that the small fits me. So I can say that much. Do you like it? No. no. I mean, it's nice, but. All right. Do you like this? What are you, a gangster's wife? No. Take home. a little change out. Yeah, out give it to you if you need it. You know, you don't know what I'm going to make this dress. Mm -hmm. But look at the look of this. But you don't like the chains? No, you're, what is it's that, cute. what is that little loop thing for your gun? No, them have to be taken off. I what is it for though? They're to strap onto your socks that you have on. They're garter, it's like a garter belt. Who needs a purse there? You just hold it down like, see? Who needs a purse there? Well, if I'm holding my money, I don't want anybody to see me holding my money. So you're gonna it's have decorative, handbag? it's decorative. You're gonna have a handbag though. No, it's, he it's decorative, it's That's, supposed to be like something. Who's going to see it? Well, if you have shorts on, you can see it. Well, you wouldn't wear that with shorts. Well, that's how it was well, shown. Why do you have pantyhose on with shorts? No, you wear socks, like stuff, socks. like long socks. Yeah, like basketball socks, like or baseball socks or whatever. And then you clip these to it, and you wear slow shorts. Okay. Show me a picture of it. I will. Okay, so I really, really like this. I think that the ruffling is cute here. I didn't think I was gonna like that, but I do. Um. I don't know, it makes me feel very cute, very girly, very like, I don't know, I like it. It's like grown up, but flirty still, you know, you know, I can get away with that. All right, let me go ahead and grab the other one and I'll show you what it is and then change into it. Bam, bam, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm So here is the last dress here and I got this one in a size small again. I got this one in a small though because this one is like that stretchy material or at least it said it was stretchy. So um, if you guys go on Shein or Runway, in the description of the dress or what size the model is wearing, it will tell you if the item is stretchy or not stretchy or if it's polyester or cotton or polyester cotton blend. So if you're ever looking for those things and you don't want to go searching through the, the, the reviews on, oh, what kind of material was that? Or, oh, let me see a close picture of what it really looks like. You don't got to do all that. <laughs> I mean, you can. But if you look in the description, it tells you everything you need to know. I will no longer buy pants or shorts in like a jean material from there unless it says stretchy and not slight stretch, but high stretch. Because then I know that I have a good option of them fitting me. Otherwise, if they're not stretchy, they're not gonna fit me. They never have, they never will. So that was just a good plus for me to find out. Hopefully that might help out you as well. All right, so here is the next dress. It is this very, very bright orange. Um, I'm really, I don't know. This one's going to be hard to show you guys as well because it's kind of like one of those strappy dresses where there's something going on everywhere, but I'll kind of show you. So these covers up the tidbits and then there's like the little hole in the stomach and it's rouged on the sides, rouged, it's rouched on the sides and the whole back is open. So I think this might be cute. I mean, I don't know where I'm going clubbing to at 37 years old, but I just thought maybe I'd give her a try. You know, every once in a while, you want to look sexy still, and I think that's what this one was about. But uh, let's go ahead and put this one on next. What is this? Okay, so if I was 19 again, I would be all over this, probably not actually even, because this is a little bit even too much for my 19 year old self back then. Uh, maybe it's the top where I don't have enough to fill it out, or maybe it's the fact that it's so tight that even if I did have a butt, it would squeeze it down like nothing. You can see through it. I left my dark underground so that you could actually see where you can see through it. 
The entire thing is just, it's a hot mess. See, this is the problem though. When you Photoshop something the way that, the way that it looks online and you Photoshop that picture, right? And then you buy it expecting to get that same thing. This is what happens, you know? And this is a no for me. This is a hard no for me. All right, you guys, so we got some good things and we got some, nah, you know, not so great things, but that's the point of reviewing things so you guys don't have to buy it and realize it sucks. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications for every time I upload another video. And make sure you guys go ahead and check out my previous videos if you haven't. All right, you guys, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye!